Hey guys, good morning and welcome to another weekly vlog. It is Monday, August 31st, the tail end of August today. Tomorrow we're in September, I'm so excited. The weather won't cool down here for at least another six to eight weeks, but being in September, I feel like I can get into the September mindset. Nora's down here on the floor playing below me. We have a very standard week in the Lamb family this week. Both Riley and I have different work projects that we're working on. We don't have anything out of the ordinary going on. Um, it's just a fun, normal week in our lives. So I've picked up the vlogging camera this past weekend, which that vlog is up. It's probably the previous video on this channel. And um, I really enjoyed vlogging again after taking quite a few months off. And so I decided to step back into it. And so that's that. Happy Monday and let's go. This morning I am washing our towels and when I do that I always do it on the bright white cycle and then I add a soak and the soak just fills up the drum with hot water and with the detergent and lets it soak for 40 minutes or so. I feel like we have all white towels. I feel like it really pulls um, stains and stuff out. So I do a small load of laundry every night. I set it to wash, I delay wash it until the morning. The only thing that I don't do that for pretty much are our towels, unless I'm just happening to do a load of laundry during the day. But the towels, because we need them in the morning, and so I don't want them to be damp in the morning. So I just do them during the day. There's a very long-winded explanation about washing towels. It's kind of dark and dreary. It feels like it might rain, but I just packaged up all of the mugs that sold last night. So I have two big bags full and all the stickers and everything else that sold last night from my Relax Your Jawline. So those are all heading out. Nora's playing in here, of course, in Burt's Bees PJs. What else is new? What you doing, Bucky? Oh, you playing with that wooden block? We've got Bluey on TV, which is our family favorite. Hi, Bucky girl. Charlie Bear, how are you doing this Monday morning? This is his favorite spot because he can look out. And I so had this sewn out for myself, which is really fun. It's a long sleeve. This, is, this color is called Yam. And um, I just love it. Pumpkin Spice Life. So there you go. So while I have a spare second because Nora is occupied, I want to briefly talk about weight loss. So if that's something that's triggering for you or you don't want to hear about it, just go ahead and fast forward about a minute or so in this vlog and you don't have to listen. So I, when I was pregnant, of course, gained weight, and then throughout postpartum and during the, those six to eight weeks of true quarantine lockdown, definitely did as well, which I think is pretty common. And I wasn't beating myself up about it or anything like that. But then I went to the doctor and got some labs back. So much for her being occupied. And some of my lab results were out of a normal range, and as I thought about it, I thought, you know, I bet I've never had any of my lab results be out of a normal range, and I think that probably packing on some pounds over the past, you know, 18 months or so is probably not the best for my body. And so in order to reclaim my health in that way, Riley and I joined WW, which is the yeah. newly reimagined Weight Watchers at the beginning of this summer. And he has lost about 25 pounds and I am down about 13 pounds. And um, it's been a really positive experience for both of us. The reason why I chose Weight Watchers was because they have a breastfeeding moms um, program basically and you get a whole bunch of extra points each day so that your supply doesn't drop and so I've just been losing just about a pound a week it's been very slow and steady um, I don't feel deprived at all I'm still eating fairly normally how I would before the main difference is snacking in the evening because I'm such a night owl I usually snack throughout the evening and that's been something I've definitely cut out but my breastfeeding supply hasn't dropped and I've been able to lose some weight so I wanted to share that here um, just because I wanted to share. It's something that I'm excited about because I'll get those labs redone here in a few months and I'm hoping that everything will be back to normal since I I kind of did let myself go there. And um, instead of beating myself up about it, I just decided to just make a change. And so that change was, you know, eating a little bit more healthfully and more mindfully and it hasn't been like deprivation, um, moving my body a little bit more, things like that. And we have seen some good results. And like I said, Riley really looks really looks different. I've noticed my clothes fit a little bit differently, but I don't feel, um, I don't feel all that different. I just feel kind of more energetic and things like that. So that is the story. 
wanted to share. Um, people have different opinions and feelings about a variety of different weight loss programs and things like that, and I totally respect that, and each person is entitled to that. Um, weight Watchers has been good for me because it's just been very, it really hasn't been like this massive huge change. It's just been being a little bit more mindful, eating more fruits and veggies, um, things like that. And like I said, not snacking as much at night, but I'm feeling really good. Um, I'm feeling really, really good. And so those abnormal labs were the kick in the pants I needed to really prioritize my health. Um, I prioritize Nora's health every day and I was kind of letting myself go there for a minute. So we're back. <laughs> Back in action with taking care of myself just as much as I take care of her. Right? So that mommy can have energy and hang out with you. She's trying to watch Bluey. <laughs> hey guys, it's the afternoon now. Riley just came home for lunch and left. Hey, we got this mug rack. Have I shown this yet? Ooh. It's from Ikea, and I guess it's not really a mug rack, um, but we just made it into one. I love it because it keeps them all out of our cabinets. So Riley just came home for lunch and ate, and Nora is down for her afternoon nap. And I don't, I'm not overly hungry, but I need to eat because this is the time while she's asleep. Actually, I think I'm probably, I'm pretty hungry. So I'm gonna get something to eat, but we're having a good Monday so far. It's really weird outside, it's like, breezy and kind of cool and Riley's had a huge cold front blowing through overnight and the high tomorrow is only going to be 80 which is really cold um <laughs> 80 degrees is not cold it's really really cold for this time of year in Texas where we're normally in the mid 90s for the high to be 80 is like 15 to 20 degrees cooler than the average day all right here's what I made for lunch today I have some leftover chicken and rice soup and a grilled cheese I'm pretty sure I recently showed how I cleaned out and reorganized our pantry, but I don't really remember. Mm, I think I did though. But last night I went through it again and got rid of, we had a few things where we just had a little bit left and it was expired and got rid of that kind of stuff and just kind of sorted it out. Um, so all of our food is on these two main shelves that go across. And then down here, these are like baking supplies and a bunch of placemats on top of a crock pot and this is all of my tea which I also probably need to go through um, because some of that is a couple years old anyway so over here I have you can see and then in here I have tea bags and this is like lemonade I think pasta and grains this is like baking stuff marshmallows chocolate chips graham cracker crumbs sprinkles these are all of Nora's little snacks and food these are all like chips and things like that. Um, these are little smaller snacks, like little almonds and things like that. And then a couple of random things over here. And then these two really belong up here, but there wasn't really room. So down here we just have all of um, the like boxed stuff and then all the canned stuff is over here. And then we keep onions and potatoes in this little organizer over here. So it's definitely not like a Pinterest pantry, but it's actually really organized. And down on the floor here, we have our Instapot and Vitamix. We have that giant 25 pound bag of rice on top of it, um, which is decanted into here. And then this is some Trader Joe's red wine. We only go to Trader Joe's every once in a while, so we usually buy a case or two of the red wine blend. It's really good and we, you know, we have a bottle every couple of weeks or whatever. And then over here is a lot of our um, Nespresso pods. And then my bread maker. So, like I said, it's not the beautiful labeled, you know, Pinterest pantry, but it works really well for us. And now that it's, I got rid of some of that stuff yesterday that was just taking up space, it's really neat and tidy. Hello, Nora's up from her nap and Hello. all dressed. She's got purple polka dotted shorts on and a little yellow and purple and white hair bow. Super, super cute. We're actually heading out to go up to Riley's studio to work on Etsy together for a little while. We have a pack and play up there for Nora to play in. So she loves playing in that with her toys while we get a little bit of work done. So hopefully it will be, <laughs> hopefully it will be pretty short, um, but we'll see. So we're up in the office right now. Nora's visiting. 
And I just finished sorting shirts for sewing and embroidering and everything else. And we sewed out a sample of a new product that I will be offering soon. It's so cute, it's a laundry bag. Let me figure out how to show you it. Light flat, don't you love all those colors of thread? It's like my favorite part. All right, laying this out. This was born out of wanting a like minimalistic, chic, pretty, functional laundry bag for whenever we go on trips. I always use a trash bag and I every time think it would just be really a lot easier if I had just a laundry bag that I could use each time. So here we go. So it's a black laundry bag that we have embroidered with white to say laundry. And um, we did it so that it looks nice and flush. And then it has a cord closure so you can pull it and you could even knot it, but when you pull it, it there's friction in here so it holds. And then there's a shoulder strap in case you would want that. So this would also be great for college students or for anyone who does laundry outside of their home. Like if you go to the laundromat to do laundry, the lighting in here is horrible. So it's making it look blue, but I promise it is, let me fix it. This is jet black. Anyway, really, really cute. So that is coming to my shop this coming Sunday, which is probably maybe the day that this vlog goes up. So check it out if you're interested. Cute laundry bag. And then this is how I sort some shirts that are getting sewn and printed. There's a couple of extras up here. And then let's look at the wall of thread. What's your favorite? We have all the reds, oranges, and yellows, and then pinks and blues. It's like burnt orangey and purple. And then over here is some greeny blues and then just pure green. And then these are some, they kind of remind me of like bridal colors, like blush pinks and ivories and things going down into this is kind of purpley and these are like graphite colored and then there's some golds and some browns. Let's see what some of my favorites are. I really like this one. This is kind of a blush pink. It looks like it's called Heather. I like this one. Very, very subtle kind of blushy pink color. There's one down here that I really like that's called Sprite. This one. I really like this one. Super pretty color, kind of a grayish blue. <laughs> navy blue, like a midnight navy is my very favorite color of all time. So I love the midnight navy. And then there's even a um, There's even an even darker blue. This one's called navy. That's probably my favorite. I love that deep, deep midnight blue. What's your favorite color, Riley, of these thread, of these threads? I really like. Um, oh, I was just had my eye on that one. I like that slate. one. Slate. Slate. It looks like denim looking. Kind of a grayish blue. I'll get it. Thank you. And let's see, pinks. I really like like rose goldy. Like that's pretty. There's so many pretty colors. All right, so you'll have to tell me of all these different thread colors, or any color in the world, but with these as your inspiration, what is your favorite color? We just gave Norny a bath. Are you ready to get changed into your PJs and go in the night? Okay. Duck. That's right. Yep. All right. Let's go get let's go get in some PGs. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday now, I believe. Tuesday, September 1st. Happy September. It is absolutely pouring outside. It's been raining really, really hard all night long. 
Um, and so I actually have a, well, I had a Walmart grocery pickup a little while ago and I didn't go pick up my groceries, which I've never done before. Um, because of this rain, I just don't feel comfortable driving in it. It's, I mean, it's like a deluge. So with Nora, I just don't want to go out in it. So hopefully they just hold my stuff because we could really use some groceries. I'll go pick it up a little bit later once it settles down. Anyway, I also am a little bit frustrated because today I had planned on taking photos for Etsy and it is like dark, like really dark outside. So I don't know how easy that's gonna be. But I do love a good rainy day. So it might require a little bit of shuffling around. Um, just babies, just little babies everywhere. Um, it might require a little bit of shuffling around of what I planned on doing today. But it'll be just fine. It'll be just fine. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the story. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to it. Riley just got home from work and he's working on dinner. So tell us about this. This is our Weight Watchers. Can I mention that? Yes, I talked about it earlier. This is our Weight Watchers pizza dough recipe and it's a cup of Greek yogurt. Non-fat, plain Greek yogurt. And a cup of self-rising flour. And you mix it together and it makes this dough. I don't know what I expected. I didn't expect to like it really. I was like, it'll be like a cardboard carrier for all my cheese. <laughs> right. But it's delicious. It's really so good. And Riley usually mixes in some Italian seasoning or garlic or something into his. Yeah. And we kind of like doctor it up, but. You don't have to rise it, like it's good to go now. And we just cut it in half and roll it out and make our pizzas and it's so good. It is so, so good. I thought it would have some weird tang from the Greek yogurt, but it doesn't. And the Greek yogurt is full of protein and it's like really filling. And we made breadsticks with it one time and that's really good. And yeah. you can make don't, um, bagels. bagels with it. Yeah. The same dough, so. Really we good. make this at least one these pizzas at least once a week and then we have turkey pepperoni and it's so so good yeah. so regardless of if you're whatever you, however you're eating weight watchers or not we will continue dough. making this long after our weight watchers days are done yeah because it's so easy and it's so good here the pizzas are out of the oven this one's mine i did like half pepperoni and this one is sorry our baking sheet's a disaster and this one is riley seeded pepperoni and onion Mm, smells amazing. Oh, and in case you decide to do that dough, which is like Riley said, just equal parts, non-fat plain Greek yogurt and um, self-rising flour. So you could do half a cup of each, a cup of each, whatever, depending on how much dough you want to make. Then you um, bake for the pizzas 400 degrees for 25 minutes. Hey guys, it is about 11 p.m. here on Tuesday night. It's been a really good evening. I launched my nightly home reset guide, which is a 20 page instant download PDF that's available in my Etsy shop. I will link it below that walks you through creating a sustainable nighttime routine for you and your family. And um, it's something I've worked on for many weeks. I'm really, really excited about it. I'm very proud of it. And it's normally $12, but for the week that it is launching, so like from today through next Tuesday, it's only $6. It's 50% off with the code RESET. So I'll put all the details below. In case you're interested, I would love if you would grab one if you are interested and let me know what you think of it. Um, I get a lot of questions a lot of the time about my routines and specifically about my nighttime routine because I really re try to reset like my whole house so that when I wake up it's a really fresh slate and um, I really sat down. I feel like I've said the word really like 85 times so far. So I sat down and came up with a step-by-step -step guide. Basically, if I had a friend say to me, Blair, I feel so overwhelmed. I feel like when I wake up, I'm already behind on my day. And when I go to bed, I'm overwhelmed and um, my house feels chaotic. This guide is what I would say to her. It's like totally walking through all the steps of identifying your problem areas and coming up with solutions. And it's, um, I think it's gonna be super, super helpful for a lot of people, so. That launched today at 5 p.m. and the launch went super well and I was really, really excited about it. And I've gotten a lot of great feedback already from people saying how it's 
been super helpful for them already in reading through it and I'm just really excited about it. So that was today. Um, motherhood today was challenging. Nora is growing right now. She's in a growth spurt. You, I don't think you probably can, but you might be able to hear her fussing in the background. She's not slept much at all today, really hasn't taken her naps. Just, it's just fussy, you know? She's a baby and some days she's fussy and that was one of these days. So Riley, as soon as he got home from work has been um, really hands on with her. You might be able to hear her crying right now. Um, I hate when she cries. He's been really hands on with her to give me a bit of a break because while he was at work, I was obviously with her all day long and um, it's just been a, it's been a long day today. Hopefully tomorrow she's feeling a bit better. Um, she's not teething, she's just growing and just fussy. If, you have, if you're a mom and you have the Wonder Weeks app, it's like eerily correct. It tells you when your kids are going through growth spurts and when they're gonna be fussy and it's like almost always spot on and Nora's in a stormy section right now where she's growing and her brain is growing and so she might be a little bit extra needy and a little bit extra fussy, which that's true. Anyway, it's been a really good day, a long day, uh, but a productive one. It feels like fall today. I mean, we've stayed inside pretty much all day long because it's been absolutely pouring rain, but it just feels like a fall rainy day, and there's something that's been so cozy about that. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. I picked up groceries today, and Riley um, ordered some fall like pumpkin spice creamer. So I might have a cup of coffee with some of that in it tomorrow. I'm super excited. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It's about 8. It's 8.23. And I wanted to show you why we do our nightly home reset. Because it is so wonderful to come out to everything all tidy. Nor's toys all tidy. Blankets. Even her high chair is ready for her breakfast. She has her little snack and some water. It's so nice. We're going to go get her changed and ready for the day. Here's my breakfast, an iced Americano and some strawberry blueberry oatmeal. Nora's still working on her little rice rusks. Nora, any bug? He's still waking up. And once she finishes with that, I'll feed her some yogurt. And Charlie's always underfoot, ready and waiting for anything that drops. And Riley, what are you putting in your coffee? We got some pumpkin spice coffee mate. Oh, heck yeah. And what kind of, oh, and this is cute and too. And a Haunted Mansion cup, because it's spooky season, it's September 2nd. I love that Haunted Mansion cup. Me too. So cute. So cute. Hello! We just finished breakfast and I took a shower this morning so I just blow dried my hair. It always feels so good to have fresh hair. Um, and we're gonna head up to Riley's studio to work on Etsy for a little bit today. We're, I'm starting to get some signs that maybe we're having another a little bit of a fussy day. So maybe going out and getting out and about for a couple of hours will be good for us and then we can come home and she can take a nap. It's gonna be great, right Nike? Norny bug. That's Charlie. This shirt is from the men's section at Walmart and I bought it on a whim because I thought we were still going to Disney in October when I bought it a couple of months ago. And it's like become my favorite shirt and it's, you know, I'm a grown woman with a giant Mickey on her shirt, but I'm home most of the day and it's so comfy and I love it. Anyway, we're gonna head up there and I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, it's been a couple of hours since I last checked in. Nora's feeling all kinds of feelings today. We went up to Riley's studio for a little while and um, it was actually great because Nora fell asleep and took her morning nap in the pack and play that we keep up there. And that way I was able to get everything that I needed to get done, done and Riley got to continue working so it ended up working out really well. Now we're back home, I'm doing, I'm washing our sheets right now. Um, so we have two pairs of sheets and sometimes I 
wash one and while one is washing I just take the other one out of the linen closet but if I wash them early enough in the day I prefer to just wash and dry and then put them back on our bed because I like having that fresh smell of freshly washed sheets rather than the smell of sheets that have been sitting you know in a linen closet so I think I'm gonna try to see if she will take she'll probably go down for a short nap I'm crossing my fingers for a longer one um, because it is time for her to take a little bit of a longer one all right, I just finished putting fresh sheets on the bed. One of my top homemaking tips is if you ever dread doing something like I really don't enjoy putting sheets on the bed, set a timer and time yourself and see how long it actually takes to do it because sometimes we make it out in our head like it's this huge task. I just did that with these, um, with putting, with, you know, putting the sheets on the bed and it was exactly five minutes. So in my head, I'm like, oh, I have to put new sheets on the bed and I've been thinking about it all day literally took me five minutes so when you think about it like that you're like oh well it's worth five minutes look how great it looks and how nice it feels to get into bed at night into fresh sheets i just love it oh my goodness i have been so productive during this nap nora's been asleep for about an hour and 10 minutes which is a lot longer than i was expecting and i'm like sweating because i'm just trying to get everything done like the nap time hustle is real today the main thing that i did aside from i vacuumed our bedroom and our closet I did something, oh, I'm doing laundry and I put the fresh sheets on the bed, is um, I reset our front room. So I'm just gonna show you real quick because I'm proud of myself. So this front room is being used for my office right now. And if you got my nightly home reset guide, then you saw on that guide that I have tidy office each night in my lowest priority category for my evening routine. The reason being because it is sort of like organized chaos all the time so there's always boxes and labels and there's always all kinds of things going on with regards to etsy and it's really hard to keep it super tidy and so sometimes if i know i'm getting up and i'm going to work the whole day the next day it's just really honestly a waste of time to like totally put everything away only to pull it back out at 9 a.m so but i felt like i was tired of having it overrun our whole living room so at least it's all along this wall <laughs> and the living area over here is totally cleaned up and we had a lot of boxes that i put in the garage and we just have some shoes over here so this is all really nice i'd like to run the vacuum and then my desk over there i have two big baskets of garments that are going in the um, i'm gonna have an inventory sale so if you don't already follow me on blair limb design on instagram highly recommend it because all of these will be deeply discounted um, things will be about most of them will be about $10 off, which is a really good deal. Um, so all of that is going to be out of here and into your homes coming soon. Um, and then over here, I still have some of the mugs left over and um, just some other Etsy things. And then I tidied up my desk. So I'm going to, since she's still asleep, I'm going to go ahead and run the vacuum in here. But it feels so good to have this safe space reset because... I should have taken it before, but it was kind of embarrassing. Aside from the laundry bag, which I showed you yesterday, we are also bringing back the makeup towels. These have been our most requested item ever since they went out of stock. Um, they are awesome. The idea, this one is a washcloth and um, it's a little square. And then this one is a um, hand towel. It's actually quite large. And the idea is that you can wash and dry your face without ruining your towels, especially since a lot of people like us have white towels. You won't ruin your white towels with makeup stains and mascara because they're black. I also buy, these towels are really high quality. They're actually this trademark that's called Bleach Shield. Um, and it's really, really cool. So a lot of people, you know, have face washes like prescription acne face washes and things that they don't have bleach in them necessarily, but they will bleach a towel. I don't know if you've ever experienced that, but that won't happen with these. These will stay jet black for thousands and thousands of washes. They hold up a lot longer than your average towel. And so you can grab this set of two, um, this makeup towel, um, washcloth, and then the larger one. These are amazing stocking stuffers. The last time I sold them they sold out super super quickly so if you're interested Sunday this coming Sunday at 5 p.m. is when they'll be available so the day this video goes up at 5 p.m. central time 
Um, and if you're following on Instagram, then I'll put up information. But these are really great stocking stuffers. They're great if you have a guest room. I have all white towels, as I've mentioned, I think 50 times in this vlog. And I love having a set of these in my guest room so that my guests feel comfortable to remove their makeup safely without, you know, getting it all over my white towels. Um, of course, if they did, I wouldn't be upset, but you know what I'm saying. Um, great for college students, just really any woman who wears makeup, really great for them. So great for you. You need, you need a set, get a couple sets. So I think I'm definitely going to, these are, are sell together as a set and then this sells separately. And I'm considering doing a bundle of all three, um, for a slight discount. So I'm really, really excited to bring these back. I know a lot of people are going to be really excited. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and go on Instagram and announce on Instagram that they are coming back this Sunday. People are going to be thrilled. They haven't been in the shop for like 18 months and no kidding. I still get messages every week asking when the makeup towels are coming back because people are just so excited about them. And some of people bought like six sets and they gave them all out as gifts and they want to get more. So they're coming back and the room is reset. Charlie. The room is reset. All right, it's about eight o'clock now. Nora's going down. She just got a bath. She just got a bath, and like I love after her bath, she has like a little baby comb over when I comb her hair. It's so cute. So I'm gonna go see if I can get her to go night night. You ready to go night night? We'll see how this goes. She's been fighting sleep a lot today. She sees daddy. <laughs> Although she did take a good nap this afternoon, so we'll see. I just completed tonight's nightly home reset, so I thought I would show you it briefly. I showed you earlier today that I tidied up the front room. Our alarm is on, the doors are locked, all the windows are locked, and all the shades are drawn, which is all part of my nightly home reset. And then in the kitchen, Everything's reset, the trash has been taken out. I don't have any laundry um, to do tonight, but I do a delay wash most nights. I had extra time today, so I ended up doing our clothing today, so I don't have anything. Everything's all cleared off and wiped down. I have my breakfast set out in the morning. I eat oatmeal pretty much every morning, so I just pull it out. Just one less thing to think about. I'm not a morning person. Um, I set the coffee maker to start in the morning and I actually these are actually pumpkin spice it's actually pumpkin spice coffee and I have one of my new relax your jaw mugs to drink it out of in the morning so that will start brewing just a few minutes before we get up which will be nice the um this is our air fryer We've been using it a lot, so we've been just storing it there. So that's not a long-term solution, but for now it works. This is all reset, wiped down, and cleaned up. Nora's high chair is reset and wiped down. And these are the rice rusks that she eats in the morning while I make my coffee and just like get my head straight for the day. And I always put just like maybe one ounce or two ounces of water in there and she has like four sips, but she's learning how to drink out of a cup, which I feel like is a good thing. Um, over here in the den, I just fluff everything up. Blankets go away. Everything gets, all the shades get drawn. Um, the door gets locked. Remotes go back in the basket. The pillows get fluffed. It just all gets reset. And then um, all of Nora's toys get reset, which we actually bought this. This is a real remote, but it doesn't have, we bought it off Amazon specifically for her to use as a toy because she would always steal ours. So we just don't have batteries in it. It's like six dollars. It was like it's like the best toy she has, because um, the the baby toy option is this, and this doesn't look anything like a real remote. Whereas this one looks exactly like our real one. This is our real one, and this is the fake one. They're both Roku remotes. So, top tip. <laughs> anyway, so that is my nightly home reset. So, um, there's also a few other things. Let me flip it around. There are also a few other things that I do, um, 
like after dinner, we bathed Nora and put her, you know, got her ready and got her to bed. Um, and we turned the air down or in the, in the winter, we turned the heat down. Um, like I said, we turned the alarms on. I have a bedtime routine. I like to lay out my clothes for the next morning. I like to turn down the bed. We let Charlie out. There's some things here that I didn't show you or mention, but all of this and much, much more is in my nightly home reset guide. So if you are going to bed and your house doesn't feel like it's reset, I just want you to experience it because when you wake up and your house is reset, it is like the best gift you can give yourself in the mornings. So nightly home reset guide linked below. Use the code reset for 50% off. Anyway, now that everything's reset, I'm going to bed. Good night. Good morning. Nora say good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's Thursday now. And we are up and moving. The whole house smells incredible. It smells like pumpkin spice coffee. It smells yummy, yummy. We're about to eat some breakfast. Um, I'm wearing long sleeves. That's probably wishful thinking. Um, but at least I could wear it for maybe half the day. <laughs> we have a lot of Etsy to do today, don't we? She's like, I don't, I don't care. I just want to eat and play. A little bit of a rough night last night. She was up a lot, but like I said, she's in this growth spurt and that's just what's going on right now. But that's okay. So, welcome to our Thursday. I definitely need a cup of coffee. Our house smells incredible. Exactly. All right, I just got today's orders outside waiting for pickup. And then I have Nora over here playing with some of her new PJs while she's in Burt's Bees PJs. I got these cute Halloween candy ones. So, so cute. I love them. And I love these too. These are like fall leaves and they have little bees on them. They are just the most, aren't they cute? Just the most precious little PJs. I love the little patches that say Burt's Bees. I have a referral code for $15 off, I'll put it below. Really, really, really solid baby gifts. Um, really solid baby gifts. Everybody loves them, they're super soft. They come in like newborn sleeper zip ups and you know, three to six month and all that slip, sleeper zip ups. And then even in the 12 month size, which is what these are, they also have the zippers, but I don't like them because when she's crawling, um, her feet get pulled into the cavity of the zipper and she can't get around. So these are perfect Having a top and a bottom. Oh, these are really cute these little fall ones So that's my latest PJ purchase. I'm obsessed with these totally obsessed with them um, Really really cute. You love them? You love them? Where are you going? You get up, she's starting to really pull up more and more and more. Oh, 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 one-handed, one-handed. Here's my other hand. Oh, 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 good girl. Let's put the camera right here. What's that? You're getting to be such a big girl. You're getting to be so Oh, you ready for your morning nap? Say, so I'm ready for my morning nappy, mama. I just got Nora down for her morning nap and I left my phone out here in the kitchen instead of, sometimes I take it in and while she's nursing, I'll just scroll through and while she's falling asleep. Um, but this time I left it here in the kitchen, which I try to do as much as possible because gosh, it's just such sweet. It's so sweet having her sweet little warm body falling asleep on me. I just love it. And I was sitting there thinking how contented I am right now in this season of life. Um, amidst the challenges between everything that's going on in the world and being a work from home mom, it's not always easy, right? But um, I've never felt more settled and contented and fulfilled and just happy. Just it's just a, it's been just such a joyful, really joyful season of life, specifically this summer. Those early days and months of having a newborn are so sweet and tender, and they're also so hard um, for 
all variety of reasons and I also had a really hard postpartum recovery and so I enjoyed her so much but I wasn't the happiest I've ever been. I was struggling um, in terms of physical healing and not feeling like myself and not having energy and I just feel like this summer I've reclaimed a lot of that. I feel like I feel healthy and whole in my body again. I feel like I have energy again. I feel like I'm getting good sleep for the first time in a while, um, most of the time. I feel like my home is back in order. I feel like my business is doing well and I'm able to dedicate time to it. I just feel like it's it's just a really, it's just been a really contented season of my life. And I just want to document that because, you know, life is full of hills and valleys. And this is definitely a hill, a mountaintop time for me in my life um, of just being a new mom and feeling really fulfilled. So I just wanted to share that. For lunch today, I'm going to have some zucchini noodles with red sauce. And um, we made Italian chicken the other night. And so I'm going to have one of these chicken breasts and probably put some Parmesan on top. I might make a little bit of a chicken Parmesan and do some, um, what is this called? Some sauce with mozzarella cheese melted on top of one of the chicken breasts, but we're gonna start with the zucchini. So I have this little apparatus and you can see here, you can see here, this is what it's called. It's the vegetti instead of the spaghetti, I guess. Um, and it's really simple. There are two sides to it. You can make there's thicker noodles down there and thinner here. And you can use anything. You don't have to use zucchini. You could use like carrots or something else. But I really like zucchini noodles. I actually prefer them to spaghetti noodles. I think they have a better texture and flavor. I don't prefer them to all kinds of pasta. But specifically to spaghetti, I do like the zucchini. So I'm going to wash these and then I'll show you how this works. Okay, so here it is. I prefer the noodles to be thick rather than thin. So it's really simple. You just go like this and out they come. And when it starts getting down, you can put this in there. It gives you a better grip. There you go. That actually might be enough. I might just do one. Yep, I think that'll be perfect. And then I just sauteed them with a little oil in a skillet. Um, you can buy these frozen, pre-done like this. And I have done that before, but I find them to be really soggy. Whereas when you do them fresh, they're not soggy at all. They're really, they have a really good consistency. So it's just totally up to you. Something else I've been loving le lately, I got that um, spiralizer off Amazon, so I'll link it below. And I also bought this. This is a um, obviously a spray bottle for oil, and I added the avocado oil label just to remind us because we also keep olive oil over here. Avocado oil has a really high smoke point. I think its smoke point is like 500 degrees or something, so it's good to cook with. Um, and it has, obviously, avocados have really good healthy fats for you. So I like this because the air fryer, you're really not supposed to use traditional cooking sprays like Pam and things like that because the aerosol component in there um, will deteriorate the lining of the air fryer. Um, but this is just a physical sprayer, so it's just spraying out pure oil. Does that make sense? So it won't deteriorate the interior of your air fryer. So we that's why I bought it, and then now I just love it and use it all the time. So I just gave a couple little spritz in the pan, letting that warm up a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add. I went ahead and spiralized the other zucchini because Riley will probably want that for his lunch when he comes home. If not, we'll just save it. Stick them all in here, and then let me put you down for a second. And then I'm just gonna add some pepper, and 
some salt. And I'm just gonna do a couple more sprays. And I'm just gonna saute this up. And it doesn't, I mean, you can obviously, you could eat it raw so you're not like cooking anything through. You're just heating it up and giving it a little bit more flavor. So I usually do that for, I don't know, five minutes or so. So here it is all finished. The zucchini noodles and the red sauce are on the bottom. The plate does get a little bit, you could really drain the noodles, but I don't do that because obviously they're vegetables, so they let off water when they're cooking. And then I sliced up the chicken and put some mozzarella and Parmesan on top. Yum, this is gonna be so yummy. I would just like to say that that was the most delicious meal I've had in a few weeks. Highly recommend, so yummy. Oh my goodness, Nora just woke up from her nap and for the first time ever, usually I hear her crying on the baby monitor and this time I heard her like talking and giggling and laughing and, and playing. And so I peeked my head in and she was just sitting up in her crib just playing and cooing. And it was so sweet, it made me feel like she was so grown up because she always just, you know, starts crying when she wakes up. But you become... I just vacuumed um, all of our wood flooring, which goes all the way back. I'm still getting a hang, a handle on, I should say, um, keeping our floors clean because we had carpet for so long. And um, carpet is nice because it sort of like absorbs the dust and dirt so you feel like you're cleaner than you are, but it just sits on top of the wood flooring. And so I'm like, oh. We actually really need to take care of this. So I've just been using my cordless Dyson um, stick vacuum to roll over the wood like a couple of times a week and that seems to work. Let me get in the light. That seems to work super well. Um, and then I mop every once in a while. Not as often as I should, but every once in a while. Um, so that feels good. We've had a really smooth morning so far, which has been nice um, because the past couple of days have been a little bit challenging. So it's nice to have a smooth morning and I'm really excited because I called I just called and booked um, a local home cleaning service to come next week and deep clean our home so they do they scrub all the baseboards they do the light fixtures they do the fans the blinds all the windows they do like absolutely everything and um, clearly I make an effort to keep our home tidy and clean um, but it's really hard it's really hard having a baby, obviously, and then running a business, and then on the weekends, um, it's not, it's just not my preference or anyone's preference to spend the whole weekend scrubbing and cleaning. So Riley and I talked about it and we're like, maybe like once a quarter, we could have um, these people come and deep clean. And um, that would be amazing. So we're gonna ch try them out this coming Tuesday and see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. Um, just to have like everything completely scrubbed and reset for the fall. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to that. So that's what's happening on this Friday. I don't have a ton of work. I did a lot yesterday, which was fantastic. She's in a funny, she's in a funny mood this morning. She's feeling very independent today, um, which is really sweet to watch. One more thing that I'm super excited about. Last night I couldn't fall asleep, so I was sitting in bed online shopping. Um, I usually online browse when I can't fall asleep and just the scrolling um, settles me down, puts me to sleep. But last night I was starting to look, I've wanted Christmas bedding for years. 
<laughs> yes, for years I've wanted to switch our bedding out um, in November and December and have like holiday bedding. So last year, last year or the year before, I don't remember, probably the year before, I bought these really adorable, let me get her, come here. I bought these really adorable sheets that have, San these flannel sheets that have Santa riding a bicycle on them, if you remember them. They're so cute. And um, they're really cozy in their flannel and wintry and wonderful. But I wanted like a duvet cover or a comforter or a quilt or something. So last night I ordered one um, and I cannot wait for it to come in. I'll show you it in probably next weekly vlog if it arrives by then. Super excited. I love, love getting everything in the house all cozy for Christmas time. And this year is a Texas Christmas, so we will be home for Christmas, so all the more reason to decorate and make the house all festive and Christmassy. What do you think? You were so tiny last Christmas. Oh, you ready for a nappy? Good afternoon for me and my pumpkin candle and my golden roses. And it being, hmm, 90 degrees outside. We're moving in the direction of fall in our hearts. It doesn't matter what it's doing outside. Riley's on his way home from work right now and I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. Thanks for hanging out with me this week. I feel like I'm stumbling over my words. Nora just got up from her nap. Um, I hope that you have had a good week yourself. A few reminders before I sign off. Remember that the makeup towels are going live in my shop on Sunday at 5 p.m. So the day this vlog goes up at 5 p.m. Central Time. Historically, they go very quickly. So if you're interested, just be aware of that. Also, the laundry bags will be released at that same day and time. I'll put this all in the more info bar below so you don't have to necessarily remember it. And the last thing it related to Etsy is that my shop is... Um, free shipping all weekend long. The only exclusion are the relax your jaw mugs. So everything else will ship for free, including the makeup towels when they are released and the laundry bags. So if you're interested, Sunday, 5 p.m. Central Time. And the very last thing is if you want to get your hands on one of my nightly home reset guides, those are half price right now with the code RESET after this coming Wednesday. So if you're watching this on the day that it comes out, in a couple of days, two or three days, it will be back to full price. So 50% off right now with the code RESET if you're interested in that. So I feel really salesy right now. But I want to remind you of everything that is offered. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me this week. I hope that you are having a great week and a great day wherever you are. And um, I will see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.